Yo, what is going on guys, it's Zebrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today I'm going to be going over 97 overall finest Jack Flaherty. This card is obtainable through finest packs or through the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 15,000 stubs. So I'm just going to spit it real with you guys. don't know why I said spit it. I've never said that phrase in my entire life, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> um, this card is the booty cheeks um, and not the good kind of booty cheeks. This card sucks, dude. Um, this card I thought was pretty terrible all around uh, for a couple of reasons. The main one being that none of his pitches are particularly deceptive or have a lot of movement. Um, a lot of this guy's stuff is very flat. The best pitch he throws is his slider, uh, but even then it's not in the upper echelon of sliders from starting pitchers on this game. Um, I just think this guy has a tendency to get, a, get hit around because he doesn't really fool anybody. And part of that comes with the fact that he's pretty much a two-pitch pitcher. Um, you're basically forced to throw a four-seamer slider with this card because his knuckle curve doesn't move a lot and it's pretty easy to read out of the hand. Um, and his two-seamer and changeup have a literally non-existent movement. This card might have one of the worst changeups I've seen all year from any starting pitcher. So uh, a changeup is a super important pitch in this game because it's going to be key to changing speeds obviously and mostly because it's the number one way that I use to get left hitters left handed hitters out and so the lack of change up the lack of two seamer or sinker or any type of arm side movement that's good um, really you're just limited in what you can throw with this card and I think it hurts this card a lot um, on the optimistic side his per nines are pretty good for a starter I think he's good at generating small PCI uh, small PCIs for your opponent's hitters, but I just don't think his stuff is very good at all. I think he's very easy to read, and I don't think you're going to be getting a whole lot of swing and misses with this guy on the mound. So my general recommendation would be to not use this card. Um, I thought he was pretty terrible, especially with all the other options at starting pitching that are pretty good. And so, uh, long story short, would not recommend, probably won't be using this guy at any point for the rest of the season. So that's just my opinion as always, but that's my opinion that I present to you guys. So as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta, and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him a C+. There are definitely worse starting pitchers out there, but there are definitely a whole lot of better ones as well. Uh, and for the price... I'll give him a B, just because 15 k is really cheap, especially for a high overall starting pitcher. Um, for the price, this is actually a pretty good deal. I just think on higher difficulties, as you approach World Series and beyond, and you start playing against players who kind of know what they're doing at the plate, most at-bats, um, you're going to really struggle to get people out with this card. Specifically, against left-handed hitters, like I said, this card has a really tough time getting any lefties out. So I hope you all enjoyed this card review. Let me know down in the comment section below who you want me to review in the next video. Enjoy the clips after this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Cody Bellinger. The first first cuts for him here with the Cody. bases open and two away. Bellinger. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Another full count offering on its way. Strike three called, and the plate now. Babe Ruth. He set to lead off the home half of the second. The right fielder. And a first pitch knuckle curve is a called strike. 0 and 1. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, Fallon. Cody Bellinger, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The first baseman. And that's high for a ball, one and Bellinger. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2-0. and Now the 2-0 home. 
is taken strike one. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Three one. Three ball. Fastball one well outside. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. Swing and a miss as he ran.